to my channel. For today's video we are going to be making some black, pink, and twice DIY projects. You can use these for Christmas gifts for your friends or just make them as fun little projects for yourselves. So for the first project we are going to be making this black, pink candy or gift holder. So for this project you are going to need some pink cardstock and a black pink cutout. The pink cardstock cutout should be 7 by 5 inches. So now I am creating a 1 inch strip on both long sides of the rectangle and I am marking 1 inch segments to create even triangles. These triangles will serve as teeth enclosing the treat box. Now we are going to cut out the shape along with our printout of black pink. Now we are going to attach the two pieces together using a glue stick. Once you have done this, press it down and make sure it is all smooth and now it is time to assemble the treat box. So what I am doing is placing tape sticky side up so that way when we fold over the other side of the treat box it could stick right on there. Make sure you press the two pieces together using your fingers to make sure everything is secure. And now we are going to fold the teeth inwards creating the bottom of the treat box and we are just going to hold this together using some tape. Go ahead and do this to the top of the treat box as well after you have put in any candy or treats that you want to put in it. And now it is all done. For the next project, we are going to be creating these gift tags. So to start off, you are going to need a piece of white cardstock and you are going to cut it into these shapes. These shapes are 3.5 inches by 2 inches. And you are also going to need some printouts of your favorite idols. So as you can see here, I printed out Neon and Feel Special and Chunya and Snapping. Add glue onto the back of the cutouts and paste them onto the name tag where you think they look best. Next, use some glittery pens or markers to decorate your name tags. So here I'm just doing a basic outline of Neon and Feel Special, and then I'm also adding the to and from. The last step is to punch holes into your name tags and then add ribbon through them and attach them to whatever you'd like. Now your name tags are all done and all you have to do is add them onto your special gift. For the next DIY project, we are going to be creating a twice sticker sheet. For this project, you are going to need a piece of white cardstock that is 7.5 inches by 5 inches as well as a piece of parchment paper that is a little bit smaller than that. Start by pasting the parchment paper onto the cardstock, leaving a little bit of room at the top. Make sure your glue dries clear, otherwise you will see it underneath your parchment paper. Now you are going to need some printouts or drawings. As you can see here, I have printouts of Twice's face, and here I am showing you that you can use a drawing as well. Next, you will need to create a label for your sticker sheet. As you can see, I'm using the room that I left on the top to go ahead and draw the Twice logo as well as Twice sticker sheet and the sticker count. Now I am laying a piece of tape sticky side down onto the parchment paper and then I am placing my cutouts onto the top of the tape and placing another piece of tape on top sticky side down. Once you have done this, you can cut out your stickers or cutouts from the tape and then you can stick it onto the parchment paper and it looks like a sticker sheet. Once your stickers are all on your sticker sheet, your gift is complete and you can give it away to whoever you'd like or keep it for yourself and stick it on your folders like I'm doing here. For the next project, we will be creating this black pink chalkboard as well as card holder. You are going to need a piece of foam board that is 7.5 inches by 5 inches and we are going to be covering this with chalkboard paint. You can find this paint at any craft store such as Walmart or Michaels. 
Once your foam board is thoroughly coated, we are going to now flip this over and add a piece of ribbon. So go ahead and make two dots of hot glue and then attach your ribbon. Next, we are going to be adding clothespins to hold our cards. So here I am adding four clothespins, but you can add more if you'd like. And lastly, I'm going to attach a black pink logo. As you can see here, I just printed it out and you can go ahead and glue that right on the top. Once you have done this, your chalkboard is all complete and you can use it for whatever notes or cards you would like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know what you think of the DIYs in this video and if you will be using them this year. Also let me know what kind of gift ideas you want to see in the future. I know Christmas is right around the corner and I am happy to make more DIY craft videos for you guys so please just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!